Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next episode of the Scavenger series. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, we have the shooting range. Yes, the shooting range is finally unlocked. And uh, while working on it, it's going to cost us a good amount of items. So we'll keep a lookout for these things. But we also need to get workstation level two, which I'll be honest with you. It's going to take a long time. So not something that's going to be on our bucket list right away. However, what is on our bucket list is the vents. We need to get three of the CPU fans. We need to get one more metal parts and we need to get a battery. So we need to be looking out for those while we're out on our adventures today. We need to also keep looking out for the corrugated hoses, get ourselves a few more screw nuts. And of course, pretty much everything inside the med station. I can get the bandages, no problem. We can buy those. And then pretty much the vitamins and also piles of meds, the only things we really gotta look out for. Rust space. Well, we only got to find ourselves just one more match. We're, we're looking for that. It's going to take a little bit, but it's fine. Heating. Well, we need endurance level one, but we also need to look out for the defuel and two more of the lighters. So we got a little bit of progress to work towards today. Lavatory, I can work on that, but I have to get water collector first. So pretty much the priorities for today that I want to get finished is water collector and vents level two. We're also going to, you know, if we can find the other items for these things, we'll obviously work on the progression towards that. So that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to head out over to streets first, kind of do what we did for before, look through some of the cabinets to see if we can try and at least find what we're looking for, which is, well, at least one more match. That's whatever they want to look for. We'll look through some of the PCs, go in some of the areas that we haven't gone to just yet and see what we can find. Are you ready? All right, let's start the adventure. This is kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a Glock like this come on from a scab at least. Got a flashlight and everything on it. Fancy stuff, man. Fancy stuff. All right, let me get my bearings here. Uh, we gotta go this way. Uh, I, I do want to check the, the filing caps and stuff, but I want to go over to the medical spot that I want to check. Ooh. Oh, I got someone shooting over there, huh? All right, let's be careful. I don't know if the new scab boss is over here. Cabal. Okay, Caban? Caban? I think it's Caban. But we're gonna go over here quickly, and if he's not there, we'll go into that area first. Because I need to go check the medical spot. Get our stamina up. Let's we'll see if we can go find the vitamins over there. Let's see. I don't see anyone over there. Let's go check over here. Oh, I see a dead body. Careful, obviously. Check this medical box. Durability is actually not that bad on the Glock either. That's kind of nice. What over here do we got? Nothing. All right, let's check the backpack and what this guy's got for gear. Yeah, it's an upgrade for us. Let's get that. Ooh, we got some stuff on him. Bandage. It's probably just gonna be all the stuff that he had on him originally when he came in. Yep, well, a little bit of money. Backpack. Oh, he's got stuff in the backpack, actually. What did he die from? A scav? Hey, he died by a scav. Keep this. Drop that. Keep the wires. We don't need that one. Good on the matches. Tools. The med tools will keep. Guessing he got into the med area, but I'm not quite certain. Metal parts. A lot of shooting going on over by the, uh, or I almost said restaurant, but it's like the grocery store over there. Check here. I'd like to get a bigger backpack, but we'll work with what we got for the moment. Hey, GP coin, a little bit of money there. See any silhouettes of a person, so we'll go inside. Let's check out this. I don't know what he's shooting off, but it is. What is going on over there? <laughs> Just a bunch of explosions. There's the vitamins we need. I'm gonna take this for us at the moment. Let's see what we got. Ooh, there it is. Pile of meds. 
That's all I need from this area. Let's get out. It'd be, I'm sure it'd be kind of fun to fight that guy with a pistol, but since we got the items we need for the upgrade, let's skedaddle. Let's quickly check these, though. Kind of funny we found an O-scope like that. I will take it. I will definitely take that. Let's see what we can find. Baker's book. Some money right there. Now, I know there's obviously you can like find like batteries anywhere. But like I've always said, interchange is going to have like everything we pretty much need. Nothing there. But it, it really does. And there's a lot of spawns and a lot of chances for finding a car battery. So we'll, we're going to go there eventually to, again today. Don't need T plug. At, well, right now, at least. All right, let's move. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go check some more filing cabinets, but we're also going to go and check some of the computers. And there's actually a couple computers over here and some filing cabinets. For some reason, I've never actually checked the tar, checked the tar bank before, but it's got some stuff in here. Let's see what we got inside. Oh, I think this has already been searched. It looks like it has been. Yeah. Yep. Let's do the thing. Let's check the computers. We need three, three of the, so much shit over here. We just need only three of the CPU fans. That scav's got nothing on them. Just a scav. I think it's a scav player because he was aiming towards my direction. Probably checking to see if I was a player or scav. Check the toolbox too. Maybe get lucky on a hose. What do we got? Relay. You can always use more relays because we're going to need them for the future anyway. Head over here. Actually, this building is not open. Is it? It is. What am I saying? This is the walkthrough. It's got apartments above us as well, but... Got need keys for those. We'll check that one building we checked before with the computers and also the filing cabinets. And maybe get lucky. See anybody walking this way? A lot of shots though. Let's see what you got. Ram, don't need you. Here's one CPU fan. Check the dead body. Got the paid battery? Aw. How amazing would that have been if we got a battery right there? Nothing there. I'm actually contemplating if I want to... That is a player. Oh, there's two players. Man had a ULAC on though. Um, that's probably not a win. Like, well, what's inside of here? I think it's just gonna be POS. Yeah. Probably not the smartest idea. We're gonna have to traverse around those two. And they're actually going right where I wanted to go next, but we will be cautioned, cautioned about that, just in case. They went to the right. If I get the opportunity, though, we will take them out. Aim for the face. That's all we got to do for. I'm going to need a screwdriver later on. Okay, that's all checked. Got some more filing cabinets. Come on, matches. Regular old matches. Classic matches, please. More keys. That's going to be one of the apartments here. But again, XP for our, our, our player. So we're going to take it. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start collecting those. I'm going to start collecting them because if I can't find hoses, then the tape plus some other stuff, we can make our own.
There's our last gas analyzer. It'll eat through, you know, the supply of what we'll need, but it's fine. Another key. I don't think we have a chance of finding... Uh, what do you call it? CPU fans through here. I don't think I've ever seen one side of the cabinet. So we'll just loot up whatever we can, and we'll move on from there. It'd be nice to find some more screw nuts, though. Screw nuts, please. Wrong matches. And last one. I will right, we'll, we'll take the book this time. And again, we're not going to identify it. We'll let our PMC do that so we can get a little bit more XP. We actually have like 200 or 300 XP, which is nice. So we are slowly but surely getting to that next level. Once we get those sail laws, what we're going to be looking for today will be in an even better spot. We got players fighting over there. And we got those two geared geared players in this direction, so we got to be a little bit cautious. Check this for a sail law. These down here. Nothing in there. Let's make sure we should have them all exit. Yeah, there we go. Well, most of the time you like, always get it, so. Just wanted to triple check that. What do we got? M433. Hose or the tubes we're gonna need for the craft as well. That elites. That's elite plier. We need that as well. I can't take the sledgehammer. I don't have a big enough backpack, sadly. Otherwise, I would definitely have taken that. But we can always find it again. We'll, we'll find it in places like you know, interchange has got a ton of them. This map's got a ton of them as well, so we can we can just come back and get it again. Hollows. Oh, we need that. Um, let's drop extra magazines. Drop the grenade. Take all that. We need that drill for an upgrade. Spark plug I do not need. Need battery. Come on, matches. I believe in you. Come to me. I think I need that tape as well. We can drop the adrenaline. I don't know if I searched this one or not. I did not. Okay. And another T plug. Okay. Sadly, again, no matches, but it's not the end of the world. We've got a fuse. Nothing on this table here. Vaseline, which I don't need. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Big cleaver, we'll take that. <laughs> All right, I think it's gonna be time for us to get out of this match. We got a good amount of items. We got an item, or we got all those items we need to upgrade the med station, so we'll get that done. There is one more place I could check that's a, like along the way to the exit. So why don't we do that? over this way and I, I do believe it connects back into the mall so we can kind of traverse through this but if I remember right there's like a couple of rooms with some some boxes we can check I mean might as well check it for some items that are useful to us plus uh, it keeps us out of the middle of the street you know with the scav shooter right now that means it's probably someone nearby open sesame I think it's this room here Yes, this room. Max energy. I've already come to terms that we're just going to wait a few more episodes and we'll start working on the food and everything. What do we got? Screws? I actually do need you. Medical. I'm going to run without you. Key plug again. And another key. 
We will drop. I drop the book. Take it. It's XP for us. Nothing in that corner. What about over here? Don't see anything. So we can keep moving. So now we just got to go up here. Should be a dead scab as well in the staircase. There it is. Ooh, he's got some good, he's got some stuff. All right, hopefully he's got something we need. Another mask for a mask. Ooh, ooh, we need that fuel. Wrench we'll get later. Drop the screwdriver. I'm gonna need to drop a good amount of stuff actually. Find the tape again. Put that there. I think I'm much okay on duct tape for right now, so we'll drop that and take the fuel. I didn't find another cable, but now that just tells me I need to grab another cable so we can make some more wires. I think that was it. Is this door not available for us, or do I have to go to another spot? I think it's right here. It is. Okay, this door is locked. This door doesn't open. And this door should open. Yes. Yep, because the right next to us is the restaurant. You can kick that door in right there and it'll get you right into the second floor. I thought that was, thought that was a battery hanging off of that. I was like, oh, battery! Mine! But it's not. I'll take this way. Ooh, actually, there's a couple couple places in here. I'll we'll check. Again, if I drop the keys, it's not a huge deal. Like, I would just pick up the keys later on. I thought I remember being like a toolbox in here, so I wanted to check. No toolbox today. Okay. Not a big deal. Let's go this way. Go around. And we'll take the back way through. This will take us towards our exit. Up in there. No components in there. Nothing next to the hammer. This brings me to another staircase, which I don't want to go down. I want to keep going forward. Okay. And then we literally just go across here and then we're at our exit. There was another place in the mall, though, that I think is on the first floor. We'll have to come explore the next time, but I'm pretty sure there's like a, there's a couple more back room areas that I forgot to check. They've got like cabinets. They've got a bunch of toolboxes and stuff. So we'll have to come back and check those for sure. But let's get out with what we got now. And make something of it. Cool. All right, let's start off with going to the. Actually, we need to go to traders first. Go to therapist. We need to buy two bandages. Now we can go over to the hideout, and we can get the med station up and running. Very good. Very good. Now we can obviously craft our own sail was if we really want to. But we're gonna start putting this in here. Generator fuel is good to go. And we need to find more cables because come over to here. Two cables, we can make eight wires. Good trade on that one. It only takes about two hours to make, so it's not the worst. That was pretty much all we could do because we have to go back and find some more items. But we can identify these and we'll get about 10 XP for each. And we got an OSCO, which is kind of cool. All right, let's sell a couple things here. Ragman, I will sell you all the unnecessary items. Sell those. We take this off and take this off. More to mechanic. Oh, mechanic will actually take the pistol because I forgot it was above the threshold point. So we can sell all that. And I think that was all I was selling because I'm keeping everything else. Okay, let's give it a good re. Oh, the knife. Fence, I'm selling you a knife. Granted, that knife will sell to Jaeger at some point, but we're not quite there just yet. Go back to the character. Another refresh, and items are starting to pile up. Let me go look at that one that one said the laboratory just to double check. So it's one, three, and three. Okay, I can remember that. Turn off the generator for now. We're not using anything. We don't want to waste that fuel, of course. So. That being said, I think we're going to change it up a little bit. We're actually going to go over to customs. We're going to go see if we can find the remaining sailor was that we need. And then after we do the remaining sailor, we only need two. So we're going to look out for those. 
and also look over some other items we can take along with us. And then after that point, we're going to be heading right over to interchange. So let's head over to customs. Let's find the sailor was and hopefully turn our first task today. Let's do it. All right, let's get a move on. We don't have a lot of space, but I think we can find enough dead scabs where we can make it work. Let's start over here, check these cabinets, and then we'll move across the water. Let's see what we can get. Biggest thing is we're going to go check all the medical areas that I know and see if we can find the sailor was. Hopefully people haven't taken them. And then pretty much just grab whatever we can. Like I said, we don't have a ton of space. Just really hope we find a lot of scabs though. I guess some more tape. This is really good. Another key, huh? Probably end up throwing that away. I'll be honest. Probably is going to get thrown away. That's all that. We checked the coats as well. What you got? A mask. And some screws. Let's take it. All right, we need to get across the water. We'll check the crack house, we'll check fortress, and then there's the underground area too that has some medical that we can check as well. How much time we got left in this raid? 24 minutes. So there's definitely still gonna be players roaming around. I'm not, well, let's see how many exactly there are though. What are we rocking to? HP rounds? Eh, could be worse. That looks like a scav across the way. Let's go, 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 go. Gotta watch out for those players. I, I want to somewhat get into interaction with players on customs since there's no like co op, like let exit area. It would be in our benefit to try to take someone down, especially if they've got into the safes or whatever. If I can find an intelligence folder, that'd be very big for us. Let's see if the stash is over here. There it is today. Nice. Oh, well, nothing in the stash, but there was a stash at least. Explosions. Scav. Check what we got over here. Any scavs that are dead? Doesn't look like it. What about behind the back? Oh, nothing there either. What about the scab in the dead scab in the bush? Let's see what he's got. Don't need the unknown key right now. We can always pick it up later, and I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, unknown key. Forget about it. We don't need it. We need all the space we're going we're gonna to be able to hopefully get. So <laughs> just just hold off for now. Check the tech boxes too. Maybe we can find a battery in those. The doors still close upstairs. Someone's definitely been in here though. We got juice. Let's just check this. Come on, say the wall. Definitely not say the wall. How do you go through this whole place and not grab an O-scope? It's kind of nuts. What about over here? Dead scab, what you got? Then got some juice, glasses, and some tea ammo. Might as well just check everything in here just in case, because if they're leaving stuff like this, then they may have left more. But there's a lot of tech boxes here, so I'm really hoping for some good stuff. There's like Five, I believe, on our way towards the exit. It's definitely enough, enough places to check. Hello. Well, I think it's a smaller rig, actually. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah. All right. Another dead guy. Again, nothing on him though. What did he died. He died to a player. Nothing on him. Let's see if they miss an intelligence folder. Doesn't look like it. All right, we check the cabins up here. Oh, no, I think they already checked these. That's why they the guy died. Yeah. Never mind. Those have been searched. Got nothing there. Over here. Nothing, nothing. No seal. Well, you know, actually. I'm going to go back there and check again. I know they checked it, but they may have left some stuff behind. So let's see if they left any screw nuts. Nope. I'll just take it for now. Duct 
tape. Nothing in that one. Yeah, the effect might like screw nuts and some other stuff, we might as well take it. And yeah, nothing there. Okay. Doors open as well, so I'm gonna guess anything in here's been taken. Yes, okay. Sadly, nothing good. Give me, buddy. What you got? Nothing. <laughs> I think I'll check checking behind me. It's like, uh, okay, sure. Crap, he came from this direction too, which is kind of unfortunate. I think the biggest reason too I want to get the the scab rep up as fast is because if we do run into like any of the bosses, we're gonna need to have really high rep to actually survive against them. Because they'll do the same thing if you know if we were running like on PMC, they will blast us to death, and we definitely don't want that. Here, check these. Maybe I actually had better luck finding the Saloas over on Reserve. There's a lot of different medical spawns over on, on Reserve in places like that you normally wouldn't check either. I guess someone's definitely been here. The hat on the ground gives that away. But did they check upstairs? That's the true question. Rations here, empty. Man, this must have been all looted. Yep, it has been. <laughs> Dang it, let's move on. Coming behind people's footsteps. Dang it. It's fine. Let's get over to the next medical spot. Hopefully they got some splints. Otherwise, we're going to have to just keep popping pills all the way to the exit. Ah, I should have jumped it. I don't know why I was trying to run around the corner. I mean, you, you can run it around, but it's dangerous. Get this all taken care of. That was not my ideal situation there. So we have the scab checkpoint, pass it between the rocks, and we got warehouse four. I always forget where warehouse four is, so we're not going to worry about that one. Oh, you're fine, scab. Relax. Oh, I've only got one more painkiller left. We may be limping it to the exit. Let's hope that we find something in here. Please, oh, please have what we need. Come down here. Check this medical spot. What you got? Please have something for us. Gosh. Syringe is so nice, but I need something else. Oh, this is bad. This is not a good look, guys. May have to call this one early. Yeah. Let's try to limp our way out of this. Dungeon area we're in. Yeah. All right. Screw it. Pop it. Let's get to the scab checkpoint and get out of here. Oh, there is warehouse force right here. Actually, we'll take this one out. Well, hold on. Wait, go check. Nah, screw it. Got here. If we're not gonna find the stuff where we were, I'm just gonna take the small amount of stuff we got and just call it unfortunate like all those spots were already looted but you know, you can't always get lucky sometimes you find just really crap or you break your legs on accident that happens too not a big deal i think since we didn't really make progress what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna drop all the stuff off quickly here get it all dropped off boom 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 even the hat the gun everything and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna head right over to the next map all right, let's get started. Do you have any upgrades for me at all? Uh, not really. We're in the same exact thing as I am. That's an interesting PM looking pistol. We got 306 key. 
That should be, be worth keeping. Ooh, that's a bigger rig. We'll take that instead. Drop the mags. I could take the other rig. Yeah, I could take it actually. Let's move this over. Take it. Let's search the bag. It's another respirator we're going to need. This is what's nice when you can actually find scavs with with items. Holes with eyes. We're, we're going to need that for a ragman task later on. So we'll grab that. I had so many times where I actually can't find it. So rather hold on to it and just keep it for later. Oh. <laughs> that came from over there. Hold on, back it up. Let's see if we can get a different weapon. This guy just got sniped across the way. You didn't have a weapon, but you got a shotgun at least. And there's slugs too. I kind of feel bad for that player, Scav. He got wrecked. Let's not be like him now, shall we? I'm gonna play this. I don't even know where that guy was. I, I mean, the the trace of the click it was from stairs over there. So we're just gonna be a little cautious. Not get seen. Have any armor, so I gotta be a little careful. Where are you guys shooting him at? I hear someone around the corner. Could be another scab, though. I think it is another scav. Yeah, they just sound like a bunch of scavs around here, but move slow for just a second. Where is he, guys? It's obviously around somewhere because you're freaking out. You're a bunch of shots. Where the heck is this dude? You guys aren't moving. I can't direct you because I don't have enough scab rep for that. I'm gonna be a little cautious here. If we can find this dude. Maybe we can get some upgrades off of him. Yeah, exactly. Blood. Suka. Suka black. That's what I'm thinking too, scab brethren. I mean, he's freaking out about something, so he's got to be around here. He's got to be close still. Nothing on those. Still don't need propane. I'm just looking for the hoses on these. That's a dead scav. No hoses still. There's a keck tape, though. We need you. Let's check the computers first. See if we can get a cable. And also CPU fans. Oh, there are none here. Never mind. Can't do it here. I want to see if I can get back to the other scab that was wiggling in front of us. If I can get over to him and see if he's got anything on it, that'd be nice. Check this bag. Perfect. Need that. Now we just need the CPU fans. I mean, I would think this dude is long gone, but you never know. Oh. I spoke too soon. Let's grab this Mosin. I'll take the shots, BT shots. Got some items on him. I 
Probably don't need half those items, but I'll take them anyway. SP8, shotgun shells. Okay. I'll switch over the Mos and then let's get rid of the shotgun. Motion should be enough. Alright, all right, let's keep moving. No hoses there. Again, if we find any tape, we'll take that. Insulated tape, I should say. Done with the gas analyzers. What's the dude that got shot in the head? Oh, he's over here. The one I feel very bad about <laughs> dying like he did. He's like, don't shoot me, man. I'm a friendly. And then just got blasted by someone else. And then we'll take some money items in case we can't find anything else. Check around here. Still don't see any hoses. Ain't nothing there. All right, let's check you. PCB, don't need you just yet. What about inside the CMS or CSA? I'm gonna guess just a bunch of mags. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Oh, he has armor. Let's take the armor. Oh, we are kitted up for the most part. That will keep us alive for the time being, for the time being at least. Check back here. We got nothing. Light bulb, I need you. I kind of want to go over to the tech stores, but at the same time, eh, risky move. Especially with us having the car battery now. I probably best for us to actually skedaddle with that on us. But we I mean, really no use to us until we find the rest of the CPU fans. So I, I gotta search more. Gotta do a little bit more searching. Scab does not have the strength level whatsoever to actually carry this thing, so we are going to gonna do something here. Once we get inside this room here, just a scav. All right, let's open this up. We're gonna drop the battery right here, and we'll come back for it. We're gonna search all these computers. Hopefully that scav doesn't take it. If he does, I'll be so mad. I don't think he had a backpack, so he shouldn't be able to take it. CB got some herring there. Ooh, almost past the computer. Come on, give us what we desire, please. We should also check that one office, the one that's like on the opposite side of this wall, because we had found well, this is during the ride to Richester, but we had found three PC PCs just sitting next to each other. So we'll check that. Plus, it, all the other places had their, their standard PC placements. So we can check that and we'll have a chance to get lucky as well. Only two, two fans needed. That's all I really need to take out of here. Whoa, lag. Lag central. Nope. I hope we found the cable we wanted. So that's nice. DVD player. I don't know. I don't know why they have those on these PCs. I mean, granted, they are work PCs, so I guess it kind of makes sense. I was like, because there are no computers anymore that use those things. Get them out of here. The work computers do. None there. We got one here. We got a couple chances here. SSD. We're not the where we're yet. We, I mean, if we really want to, which I may actually do, because I want to get, I want to get the vents upgraded. We have a lot of computers we can check in this mall. CPU fan. Darn. Caps for days, apparently. Ooh, this one's got a lot. I like this. Okay, we're looking good. Except we're finding a bunch of DVD players instead. Son of a gun. Makes our business for the amount that we have. That's a lot. Electronic parts and another DVD player. All right, that was the last office on this side. Quickly check the back, see if there's anything we want over here. Ooh, it's another battery. Ooh, that is kind of tempting. That is kind of tempting, friends. Nah, that's right. We only need the one. Because I'm quite certain once we get the vents 
Vents three, it's going to be a while anyway. But we need four of them. Hard decisions, guys. Hard decisions, and I'm making the decision to actually take it. Drop the rig. This is going to be a very heavy exit. <laughs> it really is going to be. All right, just remember the bolt. Here, let me do this. Take that. I need to kind of stash this away in case another scav comes around. We're still getting stamina back, which is good. Yeah, because I've been thinking about this. I know I'm going to need the strength level. It's either strength or endurance level we're going to need for, the, for Vents level 3. So I might as well just take them both. batteries right there how much time do we have left we got 20 minutes we got more than enough time so i'm gonna stash these inside the box this one and we will come back in a second i want to get around this outside corner here and check that office and see if we can find the cpu fans I really just don't want to come back here for just those two items. Granted, obviously other maps have batteries, or and not batteries, but they have um, CPU fans that we can find, but we're here. We might as well take a look first. Um, okay, we gotta go around this corner here. Obviously be careful of any players. Could find CPU fans inside the areas over there too. We may risk it a little bit. Yeah, it's just scavs. I think they're just, just regular scavs. They don't look like a player. Let's keep going. And we'll go to the office right over here on the right. Come on, be, be lucky. Be lucky and be nice. There we go. Ooh. Even better than I was expecting. Come on. Imagine. Imagine if we find another one. In there. What you got for us? CPU fan. Check this one. We'll drop the horse. You don't really need the horse. And there's two of them. Nice. So that's the spot you can get like three of them. But two is still just fine. I can work with two. Come on. Stop being stubborn. Give me the last CPU fan we need. Right here. Especially if I find that graphics card. It'd be nice to get out with that. Keep taking cables. Right here. Dang it. Okay. Do we go upstairs to check it? I think we do. Is that morphine? No, it's adrenaline. I don't, don't care about the adrenaline. Okay. Let's go give a quick look in the tech areas. See if I can find a CPU fan over there. If not, we'll just take what we got now and get the heck out. Still a very good win right here. Or good collection, I should say. 50 and 58, we're good on the energy and water. Let's drop these, put these here. I guess they find something good. Uh, a lot of collection items we're going to get soon. But there's no point in grabbing them just yet because it's not on the bucket list of items. I know, I know early on, last... Uh, last season, we uh, the first season, we did a lot of like focus on getting that type of stuff early on, but I'm going in a different direction. I'm focusing on getting ourselves to the point where we can get the gym unlocked and we can get the levels going. Because then we have to start focusing on it because then we're getting our PMC moved up in levels. Check this. We'll check Rasmussen. I could go check the PC banks over there as well. And there are a few more PCs I can check. From there. 
I'm not a CPU fan. It's not here. Let's go check Rasmussen next. There are a couple areas we didn't check actually, to be fair. Got pretty quiet though. Seems like that guy was just moving through the map. Shot that scab and was like, I'm out of here. See anything shiny? Electronic components, I don't need nothing there. How about over here? No. We are all set. Oh, jeez, I can't even jump that. For the text parts, I should say. Now we need to get over to backside here over to Ollie. I might as well do it since we're going to be checking this and getting out. 15 minutes left. I'm going to need at least three to four minutes to get out. There's a lot of scabs right there. At least three to four minutes to get out just because of the weight that we're going to be dealing with. Did I check this one? No, I did not. PC fan. Okay, we'll go over here. Went through it. But did he check the computers is the question. I hope not. Got another cord. Might as well take it actually since we're gonna need wires. Take the cord there. Oh, hello. Hashtag upgrade. Got that. Got that. Actually, hold on. Let's do this. Just adding more capacity what I can't carry anymore. <laughs> it's fine though. So someone took his tag, but they didn't really loot him. It's a bit weird. A little weird. Wires. We took the mag out of this thing. <laughs> not even a not even a magazine. Another player dead. Try some try oh you can. Like oh never mind, you can't you can only take one. That's fine. Another dead guy here. Let's see if you got anything, check the bag. So this is all the original shooting we heard her in earlier. Right, I gotta focus, gotta focus. We don't have much time left. So take the wires if I can't find what I'm looking for. 13 minutes. I got a little time left. Didn't actually go in here. Check these. Uh, it says CP, CPU, but I need the fan of the CPU. Come on, come on, give me what I desire. Right here. Bad luck, I suppose. All right, we'll start heading towards our stuff. Just shows you can loot like, like a ton of stuff in a lot of areas and just never find what you're looking for. But, I mean, we still found a lot of good stuff. Like, the backpack we'll end up keeping. Um, the rig is not horrible. To keep that as well. But yeah, just unfortunate. I 
I want to get out of here soon because I've had too many times where I've been doing what I'm doing right now and another player scout comes through and yeah, it's hello, hello. I'd have a player scab come through and he, and he thinks I'm a player because of the way I'm dressed. Prefer not to get shot. Well, what's our character look like? Oh yeah, you can definitely mistake us. Let's check these PCs here and then we have about 10 minutes to get out. Oh, I already checked these. Never mind. Couldn't remember if I did or not. Yeah, because the only ones we didn't really check were the ones on the other side of the mall. 21 minutes, so we really only stayed in Ollie. That's kind of nutty if you think about that. We did a lot of all, like a lot of looting, just 20 minutes. We need to make some room here. So we need to do this. Put the first one in there. Get the second one. We even have room to spare. And now we've got a lot of crawling to do in front of us. Gosh, the energy. I'm kind of worried on the energy. Hopefully that doesn't fail on us. Slowly but surely we head to the exit. At least we're working on the strength, you know. Gosh, that wasted so much energy. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Standing up with two batteries at, what, 57.5 kilograms? Yeah, that's a little heavy. Let's go. I'm actually glad that I left... 10 minutes to get out of this map because I, I don't know it may, it may have taken us longer but progress is being made so let's get to the exit shall we Just gonna suffer to the end here. This for pretty much there anyway. Wish I had gloves like this, man. These gloves are awesome. I'd take these gloves on my PMC. They're kind of cool looking. Alright, alright. We've made it. May have taken me three minutes to exit, but we did it. Alright, we're back on streets. Oh, we got 40,000. Of course, an airdrop's coming in. Uh, I came here because we're going to go and attempt to find the last match that we need. But we're also going to see if we can find a few other items. Namely, we need to find the hoses. And we also are going to try to attempt to find... Let's see, let's get... Um, yeah, we'll grab it for now. I don't need it right now. Check this box. Uh, check the hoses. Check for the matches. We're also going to look out for a CPU fan. That's convenient. Ooh, wait, is that gonna land? Oh, I, hold on, that may actually land back here. It is. Give it a look. Shotgun's going off. Hello, airdrop. This is convenient for us. The question is how many people are going to come this way? Let's see. It's a medical airdrop. Okay. Not really sure how much of this I'm going to keep. But we'll take a look at it. Maybe we'll get a magical Lettix or something. I doubt that, but you never know. Med tools. 
Adrenaline, peas. I got another scab with us here. Got syringes, but we need that. I'm almost tempted to take the meds, but we don't need them at the moment. Let's take the peas, actually. Take these. And I think that's going to be it. Alright, you got the rest. We got a lot more searching to do. I'm kind of hoping to find a dead body or two so we can swap out some equipment. But yeah, we don't have a lot of time left for this episode, so I just want to quickly get to our next location, which is going to be this way. Firing off some shots. I'm really hoping these computers are going to have what we need. There are a few other locations we can check for PCs, but if we can get it right here, that'd be nice. Let's come through the corner. It's got a flashlight. It does have a flashlight. Check over here. Come on, be lucky. One CPU fan. That's all I'm asking for. Maybe we get lucky. Darn DVD players, man. They're gonna be the they're gonna be the enemy. It's another cord. At least we're we're being given cords because we're gonna need wires anyway, so. Come on. Yay! Okay, cool. We found, we found it. What else are we gonna get? And another one to boot. You never know. I may I'm probably gonna end up needing some more, so I'll just take it anyway. Check in here. See if we get lucky. And we find gas analyzers all over the place. Look at that, another one. Now let's just hope for that match. If we can find the match, then we are getting out of here. Pretty much all that I wanted to find for this episode. But obviously hoses would be nice. Uh, take the tape. I'm gonna take the tape now because I need to find that. Uh, that's another un unidentified. Take that. It's the rat poison, but we'll take it for the XP. I'll take the tape though. If I can get more than one, if I can get at least three, then that will give us two hoses, and then we'll only have to look for a single hose for the time being at least. What do you got? Matches! Finally! Drop the mag, take the match. And let's search for the tape, see if I can find any more. Spark plug. There's two more of these. And we got some more hunting matches, which I don't need. I think it was what, two wipes ago? Those hunting matches were actually very hard to get. I don't know what it was, but like they were just impossible to find. All right, last finds. Parts, I don't need the moment. Actually, I'm kind of feeling a little nervous about that. I think I have all the metal parts I need, but I don't know. I'm actually going to drop the money for that. We're going to start collecting some of the food, so. The peas are going to stay on us. Some shatter and some glass over here. We're going to head over to the corner building over here. That's a scav. I'm going to come to the corner building real quick and... See if there's any loose items like a hose or something. And then we'll head straight for the exit. Check these bodies as well. What you got? Nothing I need. Rip stop and diary. No, thank you. Oh, I need that though. Uh, let's drop. Drop the blood set for now. We don't need it just yet. Take that instead. And then these will be the last set of cabinets before we head to the exit. Give us what we desire. That's a labs card. Sure, I'll collect it. Why don't we drop drop the cord because I don't have a matching cord to go with it. I need to find more of this tape. 
Come on, tape. I usually find a ton of you, so please make a habit of it. Power banks. A lot of power banks, too. That's what, our third one this raid? I find quite a bit of those things. Another one? <laughs> Apparently, I really am into power cords and also really into power banks. The light bulb, I need you. I don't know if I can actually do this upgrade. I'll take it for now. We'll drop the GPX. I'll have to go look at security again. Oh, it's the other door. Because I forget exactly what the requirement is for that upgrade for the security door level three. But I believe I can't do it. I'll need to like upgrade some of the or not upgrade, but we need, we'll need to level up some of the other uh, traders before we can actually do that. All right, that's good enough for me. Let's get the heck out of here. If we see any dead bodies, maybe we'll grab, you know, anything that's a little bit of, of an upgrade and then do a little bit of looting. But honestly, I don't think it's going to happen. And we're at the end of the episode anyway. So we'll just take our winnings. Whoa, lag. Lag, lag, lag. It's been a problem lately. Well, the nice thing is now that we can get the vents level 2 up upgraded. And the only thing we really need to worry about next is the water collector. I have to get that upgrade because that is one of the requirements to get the defective wall going. And slowly but surely, moving away, moving away into getting to the gym. That's what we need. Check the body quickly. Peace. To do that. It's a scab. It's a scab shooting us. Why? Why would you do that, bro? Hmm. It's kind of a problem. I don't have any medical on me, obviously. Well, we can go upstairs. We're fine. We're fine. Well, we'll take the back way in. There may have been something on that scab body. I'll have to look at the footage again. There may have been something that was useful to us there. Let's see here. Keep going through the back here. Open sesame. I'm right on top where he was. Luckily, this mall has many different ways to get around, so that is a plus side for sure. It's definitely moved on, looks like. We made it out. I think he was coming down the staircase there. Let's start off by going to the character here for a minute. Identifying these two items. Very good, very good. Got those examined and all set. I think that was the only two. So now we can go over to the hideout and come over to the rest area. Get that upgraded. Vents, upgrade you as well. It's gonna take three hours to do that one. What's the next rest area looking like? Generator two and heating two. Security 2, Vents 2. Vents 2 is being worked on. Security level 2 is going to take endurance, and so is so is the, the heating area for the next one. So we got a while before we can actually work on that one. And this just needs to have a water collector. We're actually doing pretty good in the collection here. The only thing we're going to have to worry about is obviously the corrupt uh, corrugated hoses. And yeah, then we're good on this except for the hoses. So next episode, we're definitely going to have to focus on trying to find corrugated hoses or... Do we were doing just just that last episode look for the insulated tape and we're going to grab at least a few more of these tubes in a ton of wires but the good thing is i can turn the power on now and i can get those started right now so we'll get some wires started we'll also look up for some more cores next episode i'm looking good a lot of upgrades i'm very very happy about that 
water collector I'm hoping to have done by the next episode. How much time does this take? Three hours to make those. It may not be next episode, but we can at least get started to almost finishing it. Let's see. But ladies and gentlemen, that being said, I have a ton of stuff. I think I'm going to wait till next episode to actually do the selling. Yeah, I think we're just going to wait till next episode. But we got a lot of nice stuff. I'm very happy about that. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Rag, I almost said Rag to Riches series, a scavenger series. Man, I've been going back and forth between those two. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the series, what you're enjoying about everything else that's happening with this account, because everything's looking pretty darn good so far. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one.